bitch in the words of Kaya, don't trust no nigga, don't trust no saltine. At the end of the day, no hate. That motherfucking Pierce Morgan, whatever his name is, talking about Omarosa offered him sex. You a goddamn lie. Omarosa ain't offered you no goddamn sex. Pierce is a motherfucking is a liar. Do you hear me? Listen, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think happened. I think because Omarosa craves the spotlight, she loves her name in the press, good or bad. I think that will, because they were on this reality show together, I think that she wanted to get her name in the press. So I think she did ask him to, like, you know, just have a little fake showman for, for TV. We all know reality TV ain't really real. And I think that's what happened. I don't think she offered him no motherfucking pussy. I don't think that. I don't think that at all. I don't think that one. But let me say something. I'm roasting with a lot of motherfucking things. And one thing I'm going to say is. I believe a lot of the shit that motherfuckers say about Omarosa. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. But I just don't believe this at all. I, I, it's easy. Like, I, like I've been saying. It's easy to attack someone who's already been um, stamped the villain or someone who has no problem playing that role or has no problem being that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's easy just to say, she a bitch, she a hoe, she a slut, fuck her. I don't like, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I don't like how the media and some of these people are trying to paint Omarosa as though she was the only sneaky, backstabbing, under, underhanded bitch in the White House. Omarosa wasn't the only one and she damn sure wasn't the only black person. Half of these motherfucking celebrities, they might not be out there acting like Omarosa defending um, Trump over Charlottesville comments, but they damn sure don't they ain't a man of that motherfucking work. Look at all these motherfucking celebrities who swore up and down that they just wanted to bring light to what Colin Kaepernick was trying to say. And I know it wasn't, uh, I know Colin Kaepernick was not protesting the NFL in the beginning. However, because of the way, because of the way things um, transpired, I do think at some point it should have become a protest. Fuck the NFL. Because we've been trying to tell y'all the reason why Colin Kaepernick said he took a knee, and y'all basically turned this into something completely different. So, bitch, we gonna turn it to turn it to, uh, into something completely different. And all the motherfuckers who swapping down their head, Colin Kaepernick back. That was all of that motherfucking Super Bowl game. That's all I'm gonna say about that. At the end of the motherfucking day, Omarosa ain't the only one who lying and sneaking, and it's, it's, they all do the same motherfucking thing. It's just easier to call out Omarosa. Omarosa, she, why was she even in the White House? She ain't have no experience. Girl, look who y'all voted to be the President of the United States of America. What fucking type of experience does he have? Look at half of the white people he done put up in that motherfucker. What type of experience do they have? Betsy, Ben, motherfuckers who were CEOs of Exxon. What the fuck they got to do with the government? Girl, I'm just saying, so it just kills me when I hear these people be like, oh, she shouldn't have been in the White House. Who hired her, though? That's what I want to know. Was it the president? So I'm just sick and tired of these hoes lying. I feel, y'all heard, y'all know I'm consistent when I say this. My whole issue with everything in life, point blank, period. If you're not going to call out everybody, then don't call out one person. That's just how it is. That's just how it is with me. I don't give a fuck if a bitch fucked the whole football team in one day. If another bitch fucked the whole football team in four days and another bitch fucked the whole football team in seven days, bitch, they both hoes in my book. You can, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga go out there and, and got six baby mamas and six, uh, six kids and he done fucked Half of the bitches on the southwest southwest side, he a hoe too. Like I'm just saying, like you can't, you need to, y'all need to start holding the same standards for everybody across the board. All is picking and choosing on who you gonna call out. Oh, we are gonna call out Omarosa. We gonna be pissed off at her, but we are not gonna really say nothing about Paris Denard or Bruce or these other black people who motherfucking tap that. I'm 
I'm done because I'm about to get pissed off. <laughs> I got to go because I think I'm really still pissed off about the Queen's Court, and I'm taking it out on everybody and, and anything else. Shit.